ignorance is bliss. And I think you take this one way or the other way, and I think some people use it, you know, as a negative, as it should be, as ignorance is bliss. All right, guys, Dr. Andrew Pine, the pre man Foods expert here. And today I want to talk about the, I guess it would be the popular opinion that ignorance is bliss. And I think you take this one way or the other way, and I think some people use it, you know, as a negative, as it should be, as ignorance is bliss. Um, but I think some people think truly that ignorance is bliss. Like, oh, it's fun and games. But I want to let you guys know that we, it's 2019, right? It's 2019. If you haven't figured out that knowledge is everywhere and knowledge is everything, you're slipping, right? <laughs> you're lost. And you're lost in this world of ignorance that feels like bliss, right? Because if you don't know how much trouble you're in, it feels incredible. And the big analogy that I would use for an ignorance is bliss type situation is there's a book by Nassim, uh, and I forget his last name, starts with a Q. And he's a really famous mathematician. And I like to read his books because he talks about different theories and how math plays in the numbers and all these kind of things in our life. And uh, one of his uh, big stories that he tells is about the Thanksgiving turkey. And when, we, when I think about ignorance is bliss, I think about that Thanksgiving turkey. And what he says is this, is that the Thanksgiving turkey in January, they come to this new fancy farm and they're fed great food and delicious food for months and months and months. And every month they're getting fatter and bigger and their wings are out there, right? And they're feeling great about themselves. They're getting pampered every single day. And if someone asked them on October 15th, hey, how's life looking? They would say, fantastic. <laughs> then Thanksgiving comes and they lose their head. And what I feel like is that a lot of us go through life, go through pre-med, go through college like a turkey, thinking what used to work for me will always work for me. And I don't need to find new and better ways of doing things. And as myself, I was somebody who was a bad student. And what I recognized was that everyone was giving me bad advice, both in terms of telling me that I knew what I needed to know, right? And that I was competent by giving me certain grades and making me feel like, oh yeah, I know it and also by giving me bad study skills because they were telling me what they knew, which wasn't the most accurate advice, but it was what they knew. And so what happens from all that, what changed my life was that I said, I'm not gonna be a turkey anymore. I'm not gonna live in this place of ignorance where I'm forecasting based on the past. I'm gonna see what's coming down the pipe and make changes accordingly. And where you guys see this a lot of times, if you're a college student right now, you can relate to this, is you were doing great in high school, right? Valedictorian. You get to college, what happens freshman year? <gasps> You have a setback, right? You have those courses, you don't know what's going on, you're overwhelmed, and then you get back on your feet. But what if you could avoid all those road bumps? What if you could become a master studier? What if you could become majorly informed about the admissions process, about how to succeed in college, all these kind of things? And what it takes is an understanding that even whatever you know is never enough. And you'd be hungry for more information, more knowledge, more training, more greatness. And when you do that, then you will become greatness, like this shirt says right here, right? Greatness is here. You have to recognize, being ignorant feels good until your ignorance is exposed and you feel like a dummy. So don't put yourself in that situation, be hungry for knowledge, be hungry for betterment, and no matter how good you are, recognize you can be great. So that's what I got to say today. I will see you guys next time. It's Dr. Andre Pines at the Pre-Med Project Expert. Make sure you guys like this video, uh, subscribe, and turn on notifications for me. And check out my website, premedproductivity.com. I got a lot of great courses there to make you great. Have a great day. That is it for this episode of Dominate Pre-Med. Show me some love by commenting in the box below and taking a second to like this video. Be sure to visit premedproductivity.com to learn more about my empowering courses, pre-med coaching, and live events near you. While you're there, grab a copy of my free ebook, check out my blog, and sign up for a free webinar. Being a pre-med doesn't have to be filled with uncertainty and stress. You have greatness inside you. Let the pre-med put the expert show you how to unlock it so you can dominate pre-med and get into the medical school of your dreams. I'll see you next time.